so we're gonna play World of Horror. Horror War. You have to say it very specifically. You have to enunciate. Horror War. So yeah, I have the mods installed. It's two separate teams. There's Vine of Horror and World of Sauce. One is slightly more meme -y, but also kind of horror. And then the other one's more horror and then also a little bit of memes. So we're going to check them out. <clears throat> Otherwise, I think it's just going to be a regular old run. But, you know, with... Uh, The vine sauce stuff. How's this look? Well, I want to do something green. Green. It's too green. It's more Game Boy. It might be just a little too green. Give me a minute. We'll get there. We'll get there. This is always the hardest part. The game itself is easy. It's just finding the right palette is tough. Every single time. This isn't... This is good. This is fine. So we're going to just do customize, right? uh, all the unlockables, everything, continue. Ah. The seed will be Yamot. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's fine. All right. So then we have to wonder... How much vine sauce stuff are we gonna actually see tonight? Because it's just mainly like cards and scenarios. So we, we could see some, we could see none. Well, we, we'll see some. Skeptic, Initiate, Cultist. I like doing Cultist. You can turn off some of the card packs so the mod stuff is more likely. You haven't used the idol yet, Big Charisma. Um, oh yeah, this is the idol. Mizuki. Starts with random ally, sure. Hunted by the cult. Solving mysteries reduce more doom, but you get more unique combat encounters. Could do that. Um, bad idea. It's, um... Vinny, if prioritized new content is on, you should get new stuff. I think it is. Avoid that so you get more meme events. Alright. I will avoid that for now, yes. Okay. Hunted by the cult is super easy and doesn't change much, to be honest. Oh, well, too late. You can't run from combat. Both your damage and enemy damage is increased. Casting spells cost reason. Resting increases doom penalty.
new ally has joined you, it's Ryoko. It's Park Ranger Ryoko. Um, plus one to weapon damage. City history. Um, maybe I'll get the occult shop. This is the best screen to check options and change palettes. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Vending machine. Have you seen the documentary about Sting doing the soundtrack for Emperor's New Groove? The man did so much work only for it to get yeeted. I saw that. Yep, it's fucked. Alright, um... Options. This is good. The color palette is called Backrooms. Okay. <laughs> what is this outfit? <laughs> Mega Merc. I mean, I guess my character is an idol, so... Uh, change clothes. This is, uh, Twitch-friendly. <laughs> um, okay, so... Watch TV. Local dentist has been found guilty of implanting dog teeth on their human patients. Motive is currently unknown. Start new mystery. So... There's, um... The Violent Vigil. Blood-curdling botanists, crimson cape, evolving eels, and rancid man. Well, we're gonna start with the eels. None of these are new, but that's okay. All the vine sauce stuff will appear as I'm playing. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around, it's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude is back, you know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door, Kana follows, immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious that what weird fish did he bring this time? I saw a creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? Investigate the seaside location twice. Alright. I have also kinda... Minus one damage received during combat. Awesome. Okay, well, we found, um, the corruption... event. So this is already the very first event we find is Vine Sauce related. Plus item, minus 5% doom. You pull out the cartridge, it stops. Thrown items deal extra damage. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Cursed cartridge. Um, should I buy a weapon? I should probably buy a weapon. What is a charisma weapon? Should I go to the, the occult shop or the, the dog shop? There's no charisma weapons? Okay. Get a steak knife. Steak knife is good. Yeah. She does well with steak knife. That's fine then.
Ocean is hungry. You're stopped by a person with a knife. They look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid I'm too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help me? Talk them out of it. After a long conversation, they hand you the knife and thank you. Minus one reason. Something is watching you from the sea. I got a ritual dagger. Which is, um, knowledge. Guess I didn't even need the damn steak knife. Um, small chance of recovering reason after defeating an enemy. Damage four. This is damage three. Speed 72. I think the dagger is probably better. Slightly. It, it chance to hit is less, but... I'll keep the steak knife in my inventory for a while, but... Alright, let's investigate. You come across a stairway that leads through to a, a dark basement. You hear faint groaning from inside. Even more, you hear the pitter and pattering. From within the darkness, you notice multiple eyes looking at you. Power through or nope? Um, well, this is, uh, vine sauce, because you can see it was made by these lads. So I'm gonna power through. Luck check, failure. You attempt to run inside with full force to save the person, but trip on a brick. The spiders sling towards the entrance and cling to each other, shrouding you in complete darkness. You proceed to pass out. When you wake up, you writhe in pain as you attempt to get on your feet, plus injury. Exposed ribs. Minus 20% max stamina. Oof. I think that's the spider room chat. Dude's working at school, right? We can break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? Must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. We have to go to the hospital. Minus two funds. Damn. Got the painkiller. <laughs> Uncle Funzalo. Let's investigate the school. With the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library might be a good idea. Study issues of the local newspaper. Near closing time, you stumble upon a curious article on the last page of a local newspaper. You copy the author's name, along with the address, before getting ready to leave. All right, that was excellent. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with a weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads. Plus 4% doom. Oof. Seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe some ice-cold water is a good idea. Cold bath. Strength check. Success. <laughs> Got lucky with that. Um, ice-cold water revitalizes you and you're ready for the investigation, plus 10 experience. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must be in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. It's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with.
Wandering through the empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. Get the cheapest one. Dexterity check, failure. You buy a can of off-brand soda, and when you reach for it, something inside the machine catches your hand. You have to jerk it out, injuring yourself. Coughing blood, minus two dexterity. That's really bad. Well, um, I guess it's a good thing I'm using the other knife. It's a minor injury, so you can afford to treat it. When receiving a, compl a combat stamina wound, replace hasty aid with a new random injury. When receiving a combat stamina wound, replace hasty aid with a new random injury. Oh, that's not good. Must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. Um... Maybe I'll go treat this? Then I would have no funds. Could sell the steak knife. Or the... Painkiller I can sell for one. Knife I can sell for one. Trade reason for funds when you're broke. Yeah, that's true. Alright, I'm gonna treat this. Charge summary plus 20 experience. That's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this. The I'm gonna sell the ah uh, man. I don't want to sell anything. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna bother. It's the, I knew it immediately. Here he is. Plus five percent doom, plus two funds. Oh, that was the wrong one. Uh oh, not doom. Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana, you try and break into your neighbor's apartment. And you go to sleep. Where the hell is Kana? Yeah, she was good. I don't want to lose her. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Oh. Kind of has been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out your neighbor's apartment yourself. Cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around relentlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid, murky water. Both his eyes are missing, with countless tiny blood trails leading from them in all directions. You finally find Kana. I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I, I, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now. Um, so I cut eye last time. Should I do hospital this time for a different ending? Not if you want to keep her. We must puncture. Shocked! You see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. 
Will she even survive the blood loss? I, I love the chat member seeing that for the very first time. You rushed to the hospital with Kana getting a lot of attention from horrified people. Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theater and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend. Kana is wearing an eye patch. I'm not so pretty anymore, eh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened. I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. You still process the events of the previous night. Corpse-eating eels that lay their eggs and eyes. Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying your neighbor's place. Minus 3% doom, plus 15 experience. One reason, one stamina. Weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Damn. Okay, we've got, uh, fame. Faster combat actions for each ally you have. Oh fuck, yes, right? Definitely that. Fame! What's the day? Whatever he says. I forget. And, uh, I'll get some knowledge, too. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus to one of your stats. That's cool, too. But, yeah, no, this is good. Extra funds for completing a mystery. That's also cool, but, yeah, fame is amazing. I'm going for knowledge because I have a weapon that's knowledge-based. That's not the outfit I chose. That's most certainly not the outfit. Strange person. Here's the ramen shop. Talked about that. Demolition of an old inner city shrine has resulted in an array of unfortunate accidents and most recently the death of six people suspected of the arson. Is it true that you can get another character from this? Ah, here it is. The search for a missing person continues in the forest surrounding Shiokawa. If you have any information, please contact the police department. You need the outdoorsman perk? Okay. Well, here's the rancid ramen. Um, I don't have the good ending of the for the botanists. can't get it. I don't understand- I don't understand this. What is happening here? I- there are not many things I do understand, to be fair, but... Um, okay. Let's do the ramen thing. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is the true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Long pig? 
Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. Food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. Description makes your stomach churn. Discard two items. Well, I don't need these burnt notes anymore, right? I can't discard them. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Curse. God damn it. Paranoia. Chance of losing reason each time you lose stamina. Oof. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. You don't need to discard for the other ending. Okay, that's fair. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from the other behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Dex check. Failure. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens. An unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police, and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. As you continue your investigation, you notice that the, the, the... It's a corruption. Plus one doom. Uh... Not great luck there. Hmm. I have a new injury now. Torn muscle! Deal minus one damage in combat. What the fuck? enough money to heal again? It was the hasty aid. Shit. Did you see the vine shroom? Barely. You'll get the zero funds again. Uh, oh yeah. So, there's a line for hours for this ramen. <laughs> After turning down an alleyway, you come across a couple of foreign men grilling hot dogs. Happy Labor Day, one of them says. They offer you primo beef franks and fruity juice for fruity fellas. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love this. All right. Fruity juice. You take one of the offered fruit drinks. You aren't sure if you qualify as a fruity fella, though. <laughs> Use plus one dexterity until the end of the current mystery. I could sell it. Oh, no, you can't sell it. Um... I'll save it. I'll hold on to it. Smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease rotten. Is that blood you can smell? 
could discard for quest. <laughs> Is that Jerma? <laughs> Turning the corner and the sounds of scuffling are revealed to be an unusually short man hunched over the garbage. He is unkempt and reeks of sweat, but seems in good spirit. Hey, he says, turning to you. If I can make it to the end of this event, you owe me. If I can't, I'll give you five billion dollars. Okay? Agreed. Luck check failure. A few moments pass, the man smiles. Curse. Cursed signs. Casting spells raises doom. God damn it. Uh, I don't want the good ending. I want ending B. So I don't need to discard shit for that, right? It's finally your turn to order one ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. Her eye is fucked up. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work. Obsessed man. Chance to hit 40%. What the fuck? <clears throat> Minus two stamina. <sighs> the red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Is there a way to recruit? Maybe invite for coffee? Um, charisma check success. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the Earth once again. Could this be the reason for recent horrific events? Here it is. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Just the vial. A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale, and in a shaky hand, she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. A week later, police and an official stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains... Wait, what? Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. You'd like to believe that that was the end of it, but snippets in newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening and its mysterious owner keep showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Well, I mean, I needed that ending, so... The friendly dog disappeared last night. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. Damn. Poor dog. Let's investigate, um, the Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akoman Akamanto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game. That only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. 
Yeah, I got ending A, so I need ending B for this one. Um, that said, I think I might go to the school and recruit. Okay, student C has joined, plus one charisma. Um... Damn. Yeah, I mean, we have a pretty decent party. It's fine. Okay, um, gather gossip about the current mystery. You stumble upon the computer room. It's a good opportunity to check the school's database to look for anything that might help your investigation. Failure! You find a curious folder containing photos. Uh-oh. With rising horror, you discover that you're in every one of them. The last photo shows a smiling man standing over your bed. Minus two reason. Um... I probably should fix this torn muscle. need more I need, I need more money though you want good damage for Akamanto I'll sell the painkiller all right um Torn muscle, minus two. Blood loss, minus 10% max stamina. All right, fine. You reported to your principal who promises you will take care of it with your friend safe for now. You should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library make mention of Akamanto. Plus, student C has joined us. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In an envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Strength check fa Strength check failure. You take a wrong step and sprain your ankle. All of the missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. Maybe someone saw the kidnapper stalking them. Checking out school's pool area would be a good idea. The slime begins to grow rapidly, then it bursts into a burst of color. <laughs> we did it, boys! <laughs> it's champ. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Bottle of sludge deals extra damage when thrown. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could sell that for one fund. Um, one of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information.
You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. It used to be the hospital's mortuary where the doctors determined the cause of death. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's level up. Sign contract. Extra funds for completing a mystery. Letting allies go grants a permanent bonus and plus one perception. I mean... The knowledge... Perception seems alright. I don't want to let allies go. You can re-roll if you want to go for the new character. Yeah, but... Here's the thing. Someone said I needed to complete the game four times for that. Did I complete the game four times? I think I did, right? Uh... Only three? I don't know if I want to spend the Doom on this either. I did stream it four times, I completed it four times. Just wait to get Outdoorsman naturally, you can watch the TV anytime. Fair. Okay, so check out the freezer. You take a peek into the freezer, but you can't see anything important. You wonder what could smell so awful if there's nothing inside. Nearby, the body on the dissection table twitches slightly. Jane Doe. The unsolved crime. Very creepy. There we go. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all the records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today, and another body has supposedly been found. Search- <laughs> Searching a biology classroom, you see something small in the corner of the room. <laughs> Ready for some fun? Asks a frog-like creature. With a high-pitched voice. I sure am hungry. I'm gonna... poke its stomach. Dexterity check success. <laughs> that tickles, it exclaims, spitting an object from its mouth. Plus, item. Another steak knife! <laughs> Thanks, Pungy. The principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. Pungy. Ah, oh, that's good. I'm gonna save- I'm gonna yeet these at Akomanto. Akamanto. While walking around the streets, you stumble upon a new open bakery. There are free samples on display for people to try, but something feels off. It's a blood bagel, isn't it? Try a free sample. You take one donut with bright red glazing from the sample stand. As soon as you take a bite, the iron taste fills your mouth. This is not a strawberry jam donut. It's a fucking blood bagel. 5% doom. Fuck. You break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. Cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there. Uh, on your way to the school, you see someone with a weird mask handing out pamphlets. It's one of your teachers. What's going on? Is that an emote pamphlet from Twitch chat, Chen?
you approach the masked teacher and ask about what they're handing out. I'm spreading true knowledge of our god to the students. Won't you take a look for yourself? They hand you a pamphlet, you take one, all you see on the page are symbols of a language you can't recognize, plus 3% doom. Oh god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There's no turning back now, you step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Um, you wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squish. The sound of rubber boots and an unknown liquid dripping on the tiles. S squish, squeak. You can see the top of his hand, or sorry, his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door opens slowly. A masked man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me. His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? Oof. Tall man in red coat grabs you by your neck and starts choking. You kick him and rush to the door. You hear a click coming from the door's direction. You're locked in here with this crazy man. There he is. Minus one all. Oh, that's nice. That was amazing. Blood flowing from wounds and tall man's red coat makes it look like the man was slowly melting. It's Tommy Wiseau. Uh, you hear cackling coming from behind the mask and faint when you wake up he's gone. Somehow you know he'll be back in another stall, another school, another city. Continuing the horror. Not a good ending, but I needed it. Crestfallen mask. Minus 10% doom. If you... Uh. Uh-oh. Well, she, uh, has no face. Status, faceless. Minus two to all statistics. C can I put- can I put the mask back on? Too late. Um, I guess her career as being an idol has kind of come to an end. Local scientists are baffled. Unprecedented aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural green glow. That is absolutely fucked up. Face is here, at least. That this only happens when you remove the mask. Oh my god. It's fucking terrible. No, my stats are still bad. Yeah. Oof. Alright, uh, two mysteries left. Violent Vigil. Official looking letter. Law firm from Tokyo want with you. Got to the passing of your granduncle. Yeah, we've done this one a couple times. I'm not gonna read this again, but... So, um, there's the mansion. Looks torn down. There's a past relative. You feel watched. Treat. 
Minus two reason. Oof. Keep it on for minus doom. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to get another ending. Why did you even take the mask off? I don't know. I had no idea there would be an effect from that. You have to sacrifice the guests during combat. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to put the cart back on. So here's the guests. Local legend about heartbroken seamstress. Mm. Oh. Yep. Let's not pretend like we want to be here. So we got the pamphlet. Again, I've read all this out loud. We've done this one a bunch. Like, almost every time I've streamed this, I've read all of this. So, um, I apologize. I'm not doing this again. But, I'll try to keep it on screen long enough for you to read it. But, yeah. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Family members are cautiously... Eyes. <laughs> are, they're cautiously eyes the smelly dishes. Smell is nauseating and almost makes you sick. I'm gonna be failing a lot of checks. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly, Stone Pillar bursts through the floor where you stood just a second ago. Um, I'm gonna touch the stone. Dex check, failure, minus two stamina. Great. Vinny, you failed the new ending. Okay. Why am I failing everything? Because I have no face, and I lost minus two to all my stats. Brain is goblin. Beat goblin. body is missing. Where is everybody? In the middle of a room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall on the floor, your mind flooded with unspeakable images as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Plus 1% doom. Well, good thing I have that mask.
Okay. That's not too bad, at least. <sighs> Dead. What is that? Curious statuette. Plus one knowledge while held in the inventory. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that. Entering a dark room, you spot Hawado and his wife hugging each other. When they turn around, you scream in terror. Their bodies are slowly becoming one, and they fused faces express the same thing. Rage. Ugh. Finally fused together. <sighs> Easy. Corridors twist and turn, trapping you in this mansion. You can hear other guests somewhere. Should you risk getting lost? Nope. Meat cleaver has been found. Okay, so, um, you find a wine rack here that still has a couple bottles. As you get closer, however, you realize that one of the bottles isn't a bottle at all, but a strange eldritch being. A word echoes in your mind. McClanky. You can drink all the wine, eat it raw, or eat it cooked. <sighs> eat it raw. Strength check success. I, I, wow. Three strength. You eat the briny McClanky raw. You are able to overpower its presence, absorbing its eldritch knowledge, spell, and experience. Flesh regrowth. Plus three stamina. Minus two max stamina. Okay. Uh... Parting gift, quick thinking, plus one dext, uh, dexterity, and plus one charisma. Leadership, quick thinking. Regrow your face? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Quick thinking can help in some situations, yeah. Get some stamina back. Because we're going to be failing a lot of checks. Following a weak wavering cry, you enter a dark room. Inside you spot a figure hunched in the corner. You recognize the expensive clothes. But this thing can't possibly be a human. As the vigil is nearing its end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start to collapse, revealing the shocking truth about your whereabouts. So, I didn't sacrifice the guest last time? I thought I did. Walls of the corridor collapse, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste blood in your mouth as slimy appendages slowly get closer. I did. But outside of combat. You need to do it during combat now, okay. Locked ending. You did it wrong. I think you need to copy symbol, kill all the guests, and then the old man for an ending. Oh, okay. Unforeseen force leads your hand. You reach for a knife and stab a surprised guest. The price is paid. The voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying in the, uh, on the wet grass. The old mansion nowhere to be seen. Standing next to his naked, bloated old man, you recognize the tattoo on the man's toe. It's your deceased granduncle. The coarse voice... He explains the ritual. 
You try to keep up with him, but you're weak and your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. To die, to survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man who has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. The man who you thought was your uncle has cheated death, making you an accessory to murders. You know police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth, and do your best to forget the nightmares you've left behind. Roads leading out of town were closed by the police, you'll have to find a new way out. Um, stamina and reason is pretty good right now. Maybe I'll just get the experience boost. Alright, there's only one left. I mean, I'm worried about the skill checks, but... You know. So, this one, we've done a lot as well. Shiro-san has gone missing. Might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered. What is he doing and where is he? So, this one, if you let him die, should be okay. You need a fire axe to get ending A in this one, but you don't get the mystery for the fire axe in this run. Oh. Um... Investigate the school twice. We can do that. More chance of, like, modded stuff, too. You've heard rumor of a young man that dwells within the classrooms at night, solving puzzles, problems, and the like until morning. Resolved to solve this rumor once and for all, you enter the school at night and approach one of its many classrooms. You hear the scribbling of chalk. When you open the door, you find the otherworldly mathematician. <laughs> Brainiac. I can't tell if this is vine sauce related. I have, I have no idea if it is or isn't. It is. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no, I, it, there it is. Over here, it's the credits. It's Brain Yacht. Um. Hmm. Got it. That is incredible. Uh, library notes. Gain a random spell, lose two reason. I'll just sell it. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening. Perception check failure. Before you realize your wallet is missing, the thief is long gone. Oof. Why not equip meat cleaver? It is a strength weapon, and I have three strength. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous, before he enters the house. He turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Ask the waiter. Before pursuing the man, you ask the waiter if they know him. The waiter smiles and explains that the man is part of a tabletop role-playing community. <laughs> you thank him, slightly embarrassed. Shiro-san has always been a weirdo, but he was good at what he did. Last month, he ordered a pack of experimental fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen the dispatch order with address somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt and I'll look for it. Oh, God. Um, I could spare some doom. Fine. 
fungicide. Not <laughs> fun, uh, Uncle Fungicide. <laughs> While the dispatch order is stained with a foul-smelling liquid, you think you can make out the address, at least parts of it. The house is some by, somewhere in the nearby forest. Fungal funny. You've stumbled upon a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, weird vials, stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I help you? Asks a tiny man behind the counter. I have things that will surely help you in your quest. I'd like to purchase an a product, please. Cringe Python voice. Um, I could sell something and then, no, well, what could the magic item be? Would it be something good? Holy candle. Plus one luck while held in the inventory. Use plus two reason. Yeah. I lost an item to throw at enemies, but that candle is good. And uh, also, I've seen num a number of events need it. It's dark, you don't remember the trees growing so close to each other. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in an almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip. You quicken your pace and leave the menacing path, minus one reason. Following the ghastly music, you find yourself in a forest. The sound is getting closer. Ribcage woman. Going for a one... one turn KO. Got it. Occult signs. Small XP bonus for casting spells. Extra funds for completing a mystery and parting gift. I mean, I probably could re-roll. Parting gift, occult signs, folklore studies, plus one knowledge. May as well just get that. Um, and, uh, what else? I could just go full charisma, or I could get more decks. Yeah, may as well just get decks. Knowledge is good for the dagger, right? Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Yep, zero funds. This dude's gonna show up again. God damn, <laughs> I have no funds! That event did nothing. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's the gardening company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. You stand in the middle of the room. Suddenly, the floor gives up and you fall down to the basement. Falling through the f hole in the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown basement. In the corner lies a man you recognize. It's Shiro-san, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Just keep leading until he dies. Uh. I mean, I could maybe try to succeed. What if I take a closer look at his injuries? <laughs> I forgot about that.
Don't do that. Okay, lead for new ending. Thought I had the lead ending. So I can't get, like, a better ending here, right? At all? You need to let him die, not lead him out. You've defeated Shiro-san. He died. Vines whip you, covering your exposed skin. Um, oh, this is a new ending, then. Okay. Um, in deep lacerations, you cry in pain, dropping the body of Shiro-san. There's no way you'll be able to save him. With a heavy heart, you run, leaving the man you were supposed to protect behind. Plus 3% doom. <laughs> plus 30 experience. Plus 15 experience. Minus 3% doom. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Okay, we ready. <laughs> Mega Merc. I'm gonna rest, plus 2% doom, but... I can rest, I think. That's it, maximum. Let's climb. Okay, so I don't have a light source. Following the winding staircase, you're stopped by darkness. Thick black cloud is obscuring your vision, and you can swear something is waiting for you inside. Minus three reason. You decide to brave the veil. You finally emerge a while later. Safe. You can't, however, explain the blasphemous whispers you heard. Following winding staircase, you're stopped. Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them down. The more you study them, you discover you can't remember any of them except one. Select the title of the mystery you investigated as the second one. Well, I started with eels, and then I did ramen. Climbing up the winding staircase, you were stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and mask off. Nothing personal, really. Nothing personal, kid. Um... Outdoorsman! <laughs> oh, damn. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by a metal gate. Tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods, using your own body as a natural conductor that will power up the gate. Knowledge check passed. So the gate opens because you toyed with knobs and stuff. Good knowledge. You were stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. There's a knife in her hand. It's too late anyway, she whispers again, letting you continue. The delinquent girl nods sadly as you pass her. And there you go. The unnatural fog slowly lifts. You're relieved. You collapse on the floor. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening. 
the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again till the stars are right again. Congratulations, you are safe for now. This this sentence needs some revision. <laughs> but uh, anyway, wow, look at me, I'm beautiful. But yeah, I think I can do some of the other backgrounds, like the occult one, timeline B. Um, but yeah, that, there was some... We didn't see a ton of the Vine Saw stuff. Do Endless Mode to see some more events. Yeah, I can do that for a little bit. I have some time. Customize. <laughs> um, endless mode's not here yet. Weird. I mean, you don't really complete endless mode. Or did I miss it already? That was it? that again. Insta-death. <laughs> That's the second time Mimi spontaneously explodes. Very good. Endless mode, it's hopeless, you can't stop the old gods. In this mode, there are no mysteries to solve. Earn points by surviving an endless stream of encounters. I mean, listen, we're just gonna be doing encounters, so that's fine. Someone has crammed your mailbox full of animal entrails. They know. Pop culture outfit. Okay. Alright, uh... Endless mode, here we go. It's hopeless, no matter what you would do, the destruction of your town and the awakening of an old god is imminent. Fight with the ever-increasing chaos as survivors try to find a way to escape from the doomed town. As you progress through the investigation events, you will be granted points and special prizes. Manage your resources and hope for the best. A reporter from Tokyo is making a documentary about local legends. You should get in contact with her.
Next reward, 10. We stand in the middle of the field, frozen in terror. A rip in our reality shows the horrible future of our planet. Seeing the familiar figure looking back at you, you can't help but wonder if it's in our- if it's our world, that's just an illusion. Eh. You... and the figure get closer to the portal, ready to swap places. Where are you? Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Parasitic star is looming over the dying civilization. Is this the fate of our planet as well? What? I don't understand. Why is chat saying things? Enter the temple. Perception check success. Inside a decaying nave, you find a keepsake from the ancient world. There's a humanoid skeleton wearing ruined armor. Its weapon looks strangely familiar. I just got a katana? The fuck? Mimi is now a samurai? Gotta level up decks. Recently they hired two nurses from Tokyo. No one knows what they do, nor where they stay after their shifts. Well, that's like... the most amazing first turn you could probably get. You walk by a room and you're mumbling coming from inside. You peer in to see a man pacing around the room muttering things to himself over and over again. It was false. Not this time. They created it. It was pure fiction. It's it's Riker. It's Jonathan Frakes. Actually, there is an episode of TNG. What's it called? Fractured something? Where Riker is um, kind of questioning himself because they fuck with him. Some aliens fuck with him. Yeah, the one with the play. What's the name of that episode? Dave says, I'm literally in the middle of it. You're in the middle of that exact episode, Dave? Because I know you're watching TNG. That's the episode you're on right now. That's crazy. What's the name of it? Fr um... Fractured Butthole? Frame of Mind. Frame of Mind, yeah. You shudder at the thought of what he's referring to. He seems beyond help. Minus two reason. Police have found an empty tent. What could have happened to the owner? It is said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. Tap into his power. Knowledge check failure. You feel you've attracted the attention of something terrible. Old teacher left our town in a hurry. Did she leave any clues? I'm gonna head to the doggo shop. While in inventory, all items in shop are cheaper by one funds. Two experience for each investigation, each location. That seems pretty good. Only way to level up in Endless. Hospital records mention Doctor Redacted. How is that possible? He was declared dead 20 years ago. A pale woman wearing nurse outfit stops you. Today, we are running a blood drive to help those in need. You look healthy. Will you be so kind and help the community? make an excuse. Minus one reason. A priestess was reported missing. Does it have to do with the ongoing harvest, fest harvest festival? Our master is coming, and we can all bask in its glory. Glitched magician. God damn, the damage on this katana is crazy, but it... it Kind of like, not a great chance of hitting. Got it. Got it. I should have prepped the attack before. You overhear a fisherman talking with some. I wish the fish didn't look like that.
In order to find more clues, you decide to read today's newspaper. You glance through the typical news about some small home robberies and local sports news until you notice an interesting article. <laughs> Is that tingle? Read the article. The article tells about the middle-aged man that dresses up in green tight suit and scares locals. Seems like the coming of old gods starts to drive people insane. <laughs> Your neighbor, Redacted Son, has been acting really, really strange lately. Why is that? Pui pui! Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line put on an accent on real. I'm gonna listen. Minus 5% doom, but also minus 3 reason. Uh-oh. Old journalist keeps mentioning an old case. They say a ghost of heartbroken boy, of a heartbroken boy, appears in the street at night. Is it just an urban legend, or is there some truth to this tale? Spend the night. Strength check failure. You plan to wait an entire night, observing the spot where the supposed ghost would appear, but you fall asleep. You wake up on a cold bench, all your body aching badly. It seems that no one wants to reclaim a certain black suitcase. What could be inside? It's been almost a year since uh, we read this one before. We're going to help a friend. You find another letter behind the wardrobe. It explains that the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. You shudder when you realize you haven't seen the moving company's truck driver's face. Plus five experience. Um, maybe check out the occult shop. Lump of flesh. Ritual robe. Cursed cartridge. Mummified heart. Um... Yeah, none of this is really that good. An old journalist keeps mentioning an old case. Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty, yes. This is exactly what I need. You shudder, seeing the weird woman reaching to her pocket, grabbing a nasty-looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? I've also, today, was singing. Uh, which is not something, like I said, I was, uh, like, really... I don't practice, but I, you know, I was doing that for music purposes today, so... I've realized, between streaming, I was like, why is my throat, like, not good right now? It's fine, I'm just running out of stamina. I'm lacking the stamina, is what I'm trying to say. And that's why. I wasn't singing Klingon opera. If that's what you're wondering about. Aspiring model. Chance to hit 50%. Oof. Mimi's obsession. Oh wait, no, we're good, we're good. Wait, what's that? Lucky earrings. Slot C. Well, we don't want to wear those. But, you know, plus two luck would have been nice otherwise. Priestess was reported missing. Does it have to do with the ongoing harvest festival? Select a reward. Um, plus four stamina, plus four reason, plus two funds, minus five percent doom. Um... Reason. Your friend, returning from a trip to Africa, has invited you to dinner. This time they've outdone themselves. This is a real feast full of exotic meals. It's getting late. 
can't stay for long, but the host asks if you want to take anything home with you. Some long, long pig over here. Um, wine. You have enough bottles to last a whole year. Or I have enough bottles to last a whole year, your friend says, handing you a bottle. Wine bottle. Plus three reason. Flip this card. What does that mean, flip this card? Empty bottle. Oh, okay. Why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window to go take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. Observe. Sludgy vapors rise slowly upward, forming a perfect spiral. You back away from the window, surprised by this curious phenomenon. Uh... Hot bath is so inviting that you spent an extra hour in it, plus 1% doom. Yeah. It seems that no one wants to reclaim a certain black suitcase. What could be inside? <laughs> you stop by a pizza place and order a slice. This man, dressed as a chef, comes up to you yelling not to eat it. Eat the pizza anyway. The pizza seems completely fine. You hear him calling you a donkey as you leave. Oh god, you fucking twonky. Plus two stamina, plus five experience. I'm not setting a foot on this cursed land, says an old sailor. <laughs> Coming up on the coastline, you see a man beside the lighthouse. It seems like he's shouting toward the sea. Oh god, it's so fucking perfect, of course. Get closer. You get closer, it sounds as if the man is chanting some strange language to call attention to an old god, perhaps from deep below the sea. Suddenly, thunder strikes as he raises his voice. An air of dread washes over the coastline, and you are unable to shake it. Time is running out. Hark! I like how that hark was in perfect key. In perfect pitch with the song. School's library contains many weird and curious titles. You enter the art classroom, and the room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks. Hanging on the wall, one sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Plus item, Stalker's Mask. Plus one damage against human enemies. This is your new face now, Mimi. While investigating, you turn a corner and suddenly appear inside some sort of furniture store. Before you realize what has happened, you turn to see that the way you came is nowhere to be seen. I need to go to Ikea. I need to. Look for a way out. It's hopeless. You get lost in the store and eventually pass out from exhaustion. You wake up not knowing how you got back. Was it a dream? Minus two stamina, plus three doom. Damn. Katana is dex, right? Well, first aid's pretty good. Police have found an empty tent. What could have happened to the owner? Walking through the woods, you discover a sweater. It's torn apart and covered in blood. But where is the owner? If you love to destroy my sweater... Wild Beast must have killed this poor person. A new family has moved in above you last week. You don't like the sounds you hear at night. Your friend 
has asked you to meet them at a certain secluded location. Getting there, you find a telescope with a note saying, Assigned by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. Okay. You don't see anything at first, then you notice it. The bloated body of... Off! Oh, your loss! Is getting closer. Plus 3% doom. Many mansions around a certain lake have been deserted in the last 10 years. Why? In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Plus 2% doom. Uh, select a reward. I can... Uh, probably want a minus doom. Priestess was reported missing. Feeling hungry, you've entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell did those fishermen go? One bite won't hurt. Strength check, failure. I now have holes. Each day, more holes appear. Fuck. Can I get rid of holes? Here? No, right? No. Well, what the hell is this now? What are you doing here? Check out the patient room. You shouldn't bother recovering patients. Enter the morgue. I guess I can't, like, get out of this now. Steal pills and leave, yeah. Damn. There's really no way to get rid of these holes. They don't do anything in Endless? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, here's this one again. Plus 3% doom. <laughs> there's, I guess there's no positive for that one. Perception check success. They stole your wallet and quickly grabbed their arm and they drop it before disappearing. Um, we're gonna go quick. It's getting really late, so I'm gonna go quick from here on out. Location's threat level has increased. Here's the wine rack. I'm gonna eat it cooked. The McClanky, I'm gonna eat it cooked. Plus two stamina. Knowledge check. You feel compelled to eat the alien thing, but you cook it thoroughly. You've come out of your trance eating what looks like a giant cucumber. It tastes strangely delicious. I, was, I knew those McClankies were delicious. McClanka. Corruption again. to doom. Okay. Unseasonal floods have closed many of the roads. Look for an alternative way. You wasted a lot of time, plus 3% doom. Well, looks like we're gonna be um, hitting maximum doom pretty soon. There's a man wearing an alien mask, drinking vodka, and talking to an alien dummy. He tells you it's his birthday and asks you to help celebrate, do you? Join him for a drink. Strength check failure. You sit down and take a big swig, swig of the vodka. A mistake which turns your stomach. The rest of the celebration is pleasant enough, but overdoing it on the alcohol makes it hard to enjoy yourself. Ejoy. 
but uh, that's really good. <laughs> that's really... I love the pixel art. More corruptions. Oh, God. Yeah, there's the vine shroom. Oh, definitely didn't have turpentine. Nope. Oh, I had a dream about Dan Aykroyd last night. I had a dream I was... Like, I went back in time and was, like, hanging out with the cast members of Season 1? Saturday Night Live? And Bill Murray? I don't know why- I don't even like SNL! I don't know why these people are showing up in my dreams! But, like, I guess I like Dan Aykroyd. So, I mean... Yeah, I've had, like, several SNL dreams. I don't get it. But... You know, I do like the first cast, uh, so yeah, it was weird that I had that dream. Strange. I don't remember what happened. Something is wrong, you don't see anyone in the street, but you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Select reward. Uh, minus 5% doom, why not? You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered in a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. I'm gonna grab it. Plus one funds, but minus one stamina. Cut yourself a little in the process, breaking the glass. Suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual in the clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Plus five experience. Yo, what the fuck? Why so much? It's my passive. I guess so. It's <laughs> Plus one knowledge, extra damage against human enemies, and plus one luck. I'll get the luck. Old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. I will participate. Distracted by a huge man wearing a demon mask, you have some trouble following the intricate pattern of steps, bows, and claps. This ritual is a disaster, plus 2% doom. <laughs> I'm fine with this, though. I'm... Yeah. Mr. Redacted, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He is struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. What's that picture? You catch a glimpse of the painted thing. Suddenly, you feel very weak and excuse yourself to leave. Something truly evil has you in its grasp. Weird. Did... Something really terrible happened there? Oh, okay. It was... Yeah, it was, um... That was literally a picture of Junji Ito. That was, um... Run Ender? What what happened? Top middle of screen. The duck pond. You stumble upon a small pond with a few ducks swimming in it. Feed the ducks. You sit near the pond and throw breadcrumbs in it. The ducks swim nearby and eat them. You wasted some time, but this calming sight cleared your mind. Plus two reason, plus five percent doom. So oh that is the thing. Something up here. One of the hardest enemies will appear after a time. Cool! In the pond where you saw ducks, you find a bicycle helmet and some murky water instead. That was a follow-up? You get closer and try to pick it up, but a creature rises from the depths of the pond. <laughs> it's 
Rage Club. I love this art. It's amazing. I got an energy drink, too. Plus one dex. I had to. You follow, <laughs> you follow the sound of music to a nearby cave. Inside, you find a trio of goblin-like creatures dancing in a strange circle. Observe them. Perception check success. You observe the dance carefully from a safe distance. You manage to learn a lot about these occult creatures. It, this is exactly the goblin dance video, 100%. I love it. Trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Let's take the safe route. Plus five experience, plus 2% doom. Cool air suddenly fills your mouth. It tastes metallic. Before you can react, you hear a low growling sound coming from behind you. Canis, the lunar cat. Oh. Tastes steel. Pantherk. That's vanilla, chat. That wasn't made by... There was no, like, credits on that one. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Take a peek. Minus two stamina. Mm. Uh, select a reward. Um, minus doom, and then I'm gonna rest once. The cult members are on your trail. You must hurry. Oof, that doom is getting pretty high. Looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read dusty tomes, reach the ceiling. You don't have much time, but maybe you could spare some to look through the books. Don't have time for this. Almost at turn 50, yeah. While exploring <laughs> the many hallways of the Labyrinthian Hospital, you happen upon an office with a large container of dirt and sand. You look inside briefly and the ants notice you. They immediately break free of their containment and climb on you. Shake them off. You have the room before too many can get on you. Shake them off while stomping out the few that remain. The bites sting a bit, but you feel fine otherwise. Ants. Ants. You have a feeling that you're being watched. You're a branch snapping, you quickly turn around. Someone is in the trees, plus 2% doom. Damn it. Luck check failure. I need to get to turn 50, chat. That I can unlock stuff that way. A man with a briefcase appears before you. You have no idea where he came from. He hands you a crowbar. Take the crowbar. You're hired. He mutters. You look down at the crowbar for a second before realizing the man has vanished with no plausible exit anywhere nearby. Can level up to um plus knowledge, charisma, perception, knowledge, and dex. Crowbar is a strength weapon. Okay, I can throw it. Parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Plus five experience. You enter a metro car. You notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name when you reach the package. This, this says two now. Uh, you stop suddenly seeing a familiar face in a nearby advertisement. Something truly evil has your scent now. Oof. Just need to make it a couple more turns, chat. Hearing some rustling behind a bush, you decide to hide behind a tree. There, you spot three men, each armed with a rifle. They are obviously looking for something or someone. 
run. Plus injury. Torn muscle. Minus one damage. You're shocked to see what appears to be human intestine crawling across the hall, terrified when it begins to speak. <laughs> Meatworm. Sorry, meat. <laughs> Do you want a McClunky? Lump of flesh. Plus five stamina. Wet splashes behind you make you stop. You slowly turn and see a young girl slowly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor with a wet splash. Later. I did it. Made it to 50 turns. I guess I unlocked something. The katana is amazing. You had no idea that the funeral you've been invited to would end up with guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. You stay at the back, shocked by how grotesque it, grotesque it is. Suddenly the guests turn their heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Use local tradition as an excuse. Standing over the corpse, you clap two times and bow three times. Older mourners seem content with the sacrifice and let you go. You can't shake the feeling that the deceased smiled slightly. Well, I mean, it's fucking... Like... Tifus. Like, those, those are Ferengi teeth. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Plus 4% doom! It's Jerma again. Uh, disagree. Plus one reason. You don't know this man, and you definitely don't want to be involved in any strange bets. Thankfully, the rest of your trip is uneventful. <laughs> Drooping tree. Uh, let's get lost in thoughts for ten experience. Walking through the hospital corridor, you are stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me go down these stairs? Help the man, but dex check is a failure. The man's cast breaks. You scream underneath the cast, the seething sore frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles, his smile way too wide for his face. Nine dex and I still failed that. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. More holes! <laughs> On your way to the apartments, you see a coiling, wriggling shadow. It drops, droops, and hangs, flattening its body onto the floor. The vile beast then approaches. Thousand-eyed centipede. Oh my god! This is another custom one. <laughs> oh, it's fucked up. Plus one, or minus one all. That is fucked. Okay, 97% doom. People point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. He looks confused. muttering to himself while occasionally touching a festering wound on his cheek. Stop in your tracks, listen to the man's cursed incantation. Gain a spell. Invisibility. Oh. Let's, um, level up. Leadership. Perception. Um. Charisma. We'll just do perception and dex. Invisibility. 
There's no doom penalty. Uh, okay, we'll forget that. You're racing both Doom and Yam. It's true. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> A strange man calls to you, informing you that he has something he wants to give you. <laughs> Unsure of what it is, you accept curiously. He asks you to sit in his chair while he goes to obtain said item. But when looking towards the chair, you feel a sense of dread. Let's sit in it. Perception check, success. You decide to sit in it and wait for the man to come back. Oddly enough, it is comfortable. Although, with a few bumps here and there. The man arrives with utensils and hands you over some pancakes with syrup and a glass of milk. What was there to worry about? The man hands you a bottle of milk and sends you off. Plus one stamina. Mr. Dink just saved this run. Well, for a, a little bit longer, at least. Sewing machine, perception check, success. And that's a, a spell. Third eye. Plus one knowledge and perception until the end of the mystery. Minus five percent doom. A new shop has appeared. Seemingly overnight, a <laughs> strange voice echoes from an unseen source. Come on up and get your free sample of Polish water ice. I'm gonna get a full serving. Plus three reason. You get not only your free sample, but enjoy a full serving of the foreign frozen confection. Delicious, though you can't seem to remember where the shop was. I remember. Searching... Okay, I'm gonna... Um, what did I do last time? Did I feed it, or did I poke it? Poke the stomach. I poked. Um, let's feed. Strength check, failure. You reach toward the creature. It reveals its sharp teeth and bites hard, plus injury. Broken jaw. You can't cast any spells. Well, that solves that. It's amazing. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. How is this possible? I'm going to just go ahead. Forgotten specimen. Lump of flesh again. You find an envelope lying on your pillow, and there's cash, plus two funds, one minus one reason. To fight something truly evil, you have to rest. Will I be able to defeat it, you, you think? Minus two reason. Well, here we go. You enter an alley and there's a shadow person wearing a policeman's uniform. Move along, citizen. Nothing here to see. Lumpy officer. 110% chance to hit. Alright. Stumbled upon a dejected looking man slumped in a corner wall without uttering anything. His piercing, piercing gaze turns towards you. Can't help but feel that there's something bad about to happen. At this very moment, something bursts out from the top of his head. <laughs> 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 V's inner demons. Look at all of the meats. This art is incredible. Sinto, this is incredible. That this is also the end of the run, by the way. Yeah, what a way to go out, right? No, not the end of the run yet. I think it missed. In the countryside, an old man calls out to you. Hey, kid. 
Have you ever seen a hog like this? Having caught your attention, he asks you. You like my hog, don't you? Come on, give it a squeeze. Your refusal only makes him outraged. You won't take no for an answer. I know what I said. Get here, and squeeze my hog. Is it an African or European hog? I... I don't know! Nice Monty Python reference. He says and fades out of existence, leaving a hog behind. As it turns out, it wasn't even his hog. Fortunately, you are able to return Porkinson to its rightful owner and get a reward. This hog was huge, though. Huge, dude. Matt, it's big. You barely dodge a knife, swing, and fall to the ground. Short-haired woman giggles and takes a step back. You can't run from us. You won't hide, friend. <laughs> Under the mysterious Ath Yolas's influence, the city engulfed in chaos. All the eldritch magic made our planet a bright waypoint for the bloated old god. And a tasty treat. Within the next ten years, Earth is going to be devoured, and there's nothing you can do about it anymore. Cool. That took a while. I ended on turn 69. By the way. That's a good funny number. So thank you to the creators of Vine of Horror and World of Sauce. Both were really good. Like, I could kind of tell which one was which, and they were both amazing. So thank you. Thank you for making these. And uh, I appreciate it greatly.